Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Radio Speculator being a video, and this is part two of how to get Opera GX browser on your computer. I did make a tutorial a while back ago, like five months ago, and a lot of you guys like it. So here's an updated tutorial on how to get this on Windows 11 or Windows 10, whatever update you are on. This should work. So the first thing that you guys want to do is go in the description of this video. I will post a link to Opera GX and where to install it. Oh, uh, actually, I should. You guys are obviously going to be on Google, probably, so launch Google or whatever browser you're using. If it's Bing, uh, I don't, no one really uses that, but uh, Bing or um, all the other ones. But uh, once you guys are in your like browser that you're using right now, type in Opera GX browser or Opera GX download, and then this will be linked. And then you guys want to go in this, press accept cookies, and then you guys want to press download Opera GX browser. Once you guys download it, the download should appear. Just open it up. And then just press upgrade and it will download Opera GX. So now just wait for it to download. This does take a little bit. Actually, it really only takes like a minute or something. But yeah, just wait for it to download. There also is network limiters and download limiters, so all that stuff like that. So, so once you guys launch Opera GX, it should show. And then once you guys have it installed, you won't be able to see it, but uh, what you guys are wanna do is type in Opera GX, and then I'll show you guys how to set it up. So once you guys are right here about, like once you have it set up, you guys can go into settings and basically customize your whole browser. So you guys can choose different colors. In my opinion, I like the purple haze the best. You can also do light themed and stuff like that. Obviously I like the dark theme. And there also is different wallpapers that you can use. So I think we're going to be doing. Let's try this one. Oh uh, yeah, let's do that one. And uh, there is just a whole bunch of customizable settings. Lights. There's animation sets, which is cool. There is music. There's browser sounds. One thing that I do recommend turning off is uh, make sure that uh, splash screen on setup, make sure that it is off because then what this does is it will not open up your browser right away once you start. And then there is network limiters, as I said. Uh, you can clean out your PC, so start cleaning, and it will completely clear all your files and clean everything. You guys can also go on the network limiter and limit your CPU and RAM. And there's a network limiter as well, so you guys can basically limit how much network you want to use and downloads and limit your download. And yeah, RAM limiter is right here. And CPU limiter is right here as well. You guys can also connect your social media like Instagram, Facebook, Messenger. And there also is a bunch of extensions that you guys can use, including an uh, Opera ad blocker. So you guys can definitely use that, which is definitely cool. So it comes with an automatic ad, bro uh, ad, ad blocker. So. Um, but before, that's basically it, but before I end this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this like your main browser, so it won't like show up as Google down here, and you can just, it'll be Opera instead. And there also is a whole bunch of games as well, it shows stores, news articles, there's basically everything here. It shows top deals, the dates, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, all the things that are coming up. Um, but yeah guys, that's basically the end of the tutorial. To have it pinned like I do, open up Opera, right click, and then press, there should be a pin right here, pin on taskbar, and there you go, that's, it'll be pinned, and you guys can just click this, and it will automatically go 
onto Opera. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, as always, like, subscribe. See y'all next one. Peace.